In today's presentation, we will continue to take a look back at some baseball history as presented on U.S. postage stamps. In this third part of our series, we focus on the ballparks and stadiums, on the stamps and their history. Vintage postcards of 10 famous baseball fields are displayed on the sheet issued in 2001. Descriptive text appears on the back of each stamp. This part of baseball through stamps will focus on the 11 ballparks featured in this sheet. Each of these stamps was issued in the city where the ballpark was located, including separate first day of issue cancellations. From 1920 to 1953, Sportsman's Park was the home field of both the St. Louis Browns of the American League and the St. Louis Cardinals of the National League, after which the Browns departed to become the modern-day Baltimore Orioles. The Browns' flamboyant owner once put a 65-pound, 3-foot 7-inch player up to bat. Sportsman's Park, Bush Stadium was the site of a number of World Series contests, first way back in the mid-1880s, and then in the modern era. The 1964 series was particularly memorable, the park's last, and featured brother against brother, Ken Boyer of the Cardinals and Cleet Boyer of the Yankees. The stadium also hosted Major League Baseball All-Star Games in 1940, 1948, and 1957. Ebbets Field was an MLB stadium in the Flatbush section of Brooklyn, New York. It is known mainly for having been the home of the Brooklyn Dodgers baseball team of the National League, from 1913 to 1957, but was also home to three National Football League teams in the 1920s. The MLB TV debut occurred at Ebbets Field in 1939. Ebbets Field was demolished in 1960 and replaced by apartment buildings. For years there was a group of fans who worked to keep the possibility of baseball returning to Brooklyn after the Dodgers left. Tiger Stadium was a baseball park located in the Corktown neighborhood of Detroit, Michigan. It hosted the Detroit Tigers of MLB from 1912 to 1999, as well as the Detroit Lions of the National Football League from 1938 to 1974. The stadium was nicknamed the Corner for its location on Michigan Avenue and Trumbull Avenue. It put fans very close to the field and featured a right field upper deck that jutted out 10 feet farther than the lower deck. The last Tigers game at the stadium was held on September 27, 1999. In the decade after the Tigers vacated the stadium, several redevelopment and preservation efforts finally gave way to demolition. The stadium's demolition was completed on September 21, 2009, though the stadium's actual playing field remains at the corner where the stadium stood. In 2018, the site was redeveloped for youth sports. Crosley Field was an MLB park in Cincinnati, Ohio. Crosley Field was on an asymmetrical block in the Queensgate section of the city. Crosley has the distinction of being the first major league park with lights for playing night games. The Findlay and Western intersection was the home field of the Reds from 1884 until mid-season 1970, when the team moved to Riverfront Stadium. The location of the diamond and consequently the main grandstand seating area was shifted several times during the 86 and one-half seasons that the Reds played at the site. Crosley had the famous terrace in left field. The field sloped up towards the left field wall. The original Yankee Stadium was a stadium located in the Bronx, New York City. It was the home ballpark of the New York Yankees, the city's American League franchise, from 1923 to 1973 and then from 1976 to 2008. The stadium hosted over 6,500 Yankees regular season home games and more World Series games than any other ballpark during its 85-year history. The stadium's nickname, the house that Ruth built, is derived from Babe Ruth, the baseball superstar whose prime years coincided with the stadium's opening and the beginning of the Yankees' winning history. It has often been referred to as the Cathedral of Baseball. Yankee Stadium opened for the 1923 MLB season, and was hailed at the time as a one-of-a-kind facility in the country for its size. Over the course of its history, 
Yankee Stadium became one of the most famous venues in the United States, having hosted a variety of events and historic moments during its existence. While many of these moments were baseball-related, including World Series games, no-hitters, perfect games, and historic home runs, the stadium also hosted boxing matches, the 1958 NFL Championship game, referred to as the greatest game ever played, concerts, and religious conventions, where a record attendance was set. The stadium went through many alterations and playing surface configurations over the years. The condition of the facility worsened in the 1960s and 1970s, prompting its closure for renovation from 1974 to 1975. The renovation significantly altered the appearance of the venue and reduced the distance of the outfield fences. In 2006, the Yankees began building a new $2.3 billion stadium in public parkland adjacent to the stadium. The design includes a replica of the frieze along the roof that had been part of the original Yankee Stadium. Monument Park, a Hall of Fame for prominent former Yankees, was relocated to the new stadium. Yankee Stadium closed following the 2008 baseball season and the new stadium opened in 2009, adopting the Yankee Stadium moniker. The original Yankee Stadium was demolished in 2010, two years after it closed, and the eight-acre site was converted into a public park called Heritage Field. The Polo Grounds was the name of a stadium in Upper Manhattan, New York City, used mainly for professional baseball and American football from 1880 through 1963. The original Polo Grounds was built for the sport of polo. The third Polo Grounds, built in 1890, is the one generally indicated when the Polo Grounds is referenced. It was located in Coogan's Hollow and was noted for its distinctive bathtub shape, very short distances to the left and right field walls, and an unusually deep center field. The Polo Grounds was also the home field of the New York Yankees from 1913 through 1922 and the New York Mets in their first two seasons in 1962 and 1963. Each of the three versions of the ballpark held at least one World Series. The third version also hosted the 1934 and 1942 MLB All-Star Games. Shea Stadium opened in 1964 and replaced the Polo Grounds as the home of the Mets and Jets. The Polo Grounds was demolished over a period of four months that year and a public housing complex, known as the Polo Grounds Towers, was built on the site. Forbes Field was a baseball park in the Oakland neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, from 1909 to 1970. It was the third home of the Pittsburgh Pirates MLB team, and the first home of the Pittsburgh Steelers, the city's National Football League franchise. The stadium was named after its adjacent street, Forbes Avenue, itself named for British General John Forbes, who fought in the French and Indian War and named the city in 1758. The stadium was made of concrete and steel in order to increase its lifespan. The Pirates opened Forbes Field in 1909, against the Chicago Cubs, and played the final game against the Cubs in 1970. The field itself featured a large playing surface, with the batting cage placed in the deepest part of center field during games. Seating was altered multiple times throughout the stadium's life, at times fans were permitted to sit on the grass in the outfield during overflow crowds. The Pirates won three World Series while at Forbes Field. It was the on-field performance, by the Pirates, rather than any intrinsic properties of the stadium itself that led to Forbes Field being dubbed the House of Thrills in 1959. Some remnants of the ballpark still stand, surrounded by the campus of the University of Pittsburgh. Fans gather on the site annually on the anniversary of Bill Mazeroski's World Series winning home run in what author Jim O'Brien writes is one of the most unique expressions of a love of the game to be found in a major league city. Fenway Park is a baseball park located in Boston, Massachusetts, near Kenmore Square. Since 1912, it has been the home for the Boston Red Sox, the city's American League baseball team, and since 1953, its only MLB franchise. While the stadium was built in 1912, it was rebuilt in 1934. It is the oldest active ballpark in MLB. Because of its age and constrained location in Boston's dense Fenway-Kenmore neighborhood, 
the park has been renovated or expanded many times, resulting in quirky features including the triangle, Pesky's pole, and the green monster in left field. It is the fifth smallest among MLB ballparks by seating capacity, second smallest by total capacity, and one of eight that cannot accommodate at least 40,000 spectators. Fenway has hosted the World Series 11 times, with the Red Sox winning six of them and the Boston Braves winning one. Besides baseball games it has been the site of many other sporting and cultural events including professional football games for the Boston Redskins, Boston Yanks, and the New England Patriots, concerts, soccer and hockey games, and political and religious campaigns. April 20, 2012, marked Fenway Park Centennial. On March 7 of that year, the park was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Former pitcher Bill Lee has called Fenway Park a shrine. It is a pending Boston landmark that will regulate any further changes to the park. Today, the park is considered to be one of the most well-known sports venues in the world. Comiskey Park was a baseball park in Chicago, Illinois, located in the Armour Square neighborhood on the near southwest side of the city. The stadium served as the home of the Chicago White Sox of the American League from 1910 through 1990. Built by White Sox owner Charles Comiskey, the park hosted four World Series and more than 6,000 Major League Baseball games. Also, in one of the most famous boxing matches in history, the field was the site of the 1937 heavyweight title match in which Joe Lewis defeated then-champion James J. Braddock in eight rounds that launched Lewis' unprecedented 11-plus year run as the heavyweight champion of the world. Adjacent to the south, across 35th Street, a new ballpark opened in 1991, and Comiskey Park was demolished the same year. Originally also called Comiskey Park, it was renamed U.S. Cellular Field in 2003 and Guaranteed Rate Field in 2016. Shy Park, known later as Connie Mack Stadium, was a baseball park located in Philadelphia. It was the home of the Philadelphia Athletics of the American League and the Philadelphia Phillies of the National League. When it opened April 12, 1909, it became baseball's first steel and concrete stadium. The venue's two home teams won both the first and last games at the stadium. Scheib Park stood five blocks west, corner to corner, from the Baker Bowl, the Phillies' home from 1887 to 1938. The stadium hosted eight World Series and two MLB All-Star Games, in 1943 and 1952, with the latter game holding the distinction of being the only all-star contest shortened by rain, to five innings. In May 1939, it was the site of the first night game played in the American League. Philly's Hall of Fame center fielder and longtime broadcaster Richie Ashburn remembered Shy Park, it looked like a ballpark. It smelled like a ballpark. It had a feeling and a heartbeat, a personality that was all baseball. Wrigley Field is a baseball park located on the north side of Chicago, Illinois. It is the home of the Chicago Cubs, one of the city's two MLB franchises. It first opened in 1914 as Weeman Park for Charles Weeman's Chicago Wales of the Federal League, which folded after the 1915 baseball season. The Cubs played their first home game at the park in 1916, defeating the Cincinnati Reds with a score of 7-6 in 11 innings. Chewing gum magnate William Wrigley Jr. of the Wrigley Company acquired complete control of the Cubs in 1921. It was named Cubs Park from 1920 to 1926, before being renamed Wrigley Field in 1927. Wrigley Field is nicknamed the Friendly Confines, a phrase popularized by Mr. Cub, Hall of Fame shortstop and first baseman Ernie Banks. The oldest park in the National League, the current seating capacity is 41,649, it is the second oldest in the majors after Fenway Park, and the only remaining federal league park. Wrigley Field is known for its ivy-covered brick outfield wall, the unusual wind patterns off Lake Michigan, the iconic red marquee over the main entrance, and the hand-turned scoreboard. It is located in a primarily residential neighborhood with no parking lots and views from the rooftops behind the outfield. It was the last major league park to have lights installed for play after dark, in 1988. 
the elevation of its playing field is 600 feet above sea level. In today's presentation, we took a look back at some baseball history as presented on U.S. postage stamps. Be sure to watch part 4 of Baseball Through Stamps on this channel. Thank you for your interest in the video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to be notified when new videos are released.